all the days of my life, and I will in the house of the Lord. I just read Psalm 23, and the Lord, the word be blessed.
will have a greeting by Sister Hattie Patterson. for that warm greeting. At this time, we'll have a selection by the Voices of Pilgrim West. Give me your own Seems like 
this time we'll have Sister Linda Strong come with my pastor. Good morning. Good morning. It's a pleasure to stand before you all to express what my pastor means to me. I started at Pilgrim Rest as a child at an early age. However, I didn't attend on a regular basis until my later years. One day, I ran into Reverend Adam at BMV. <laughs> he asked how I was doing as well as my family. He didn't even mention anything about church. But after seeing him, it left me with a spirit of wanting to attend church more frequently. Right. Amen. Reverend Adams has always been there for me and my family. He officiated my daughter and late son-in-law's wedding in 1990. And I believe that's the first wedding that he officiated as a pastor. <laughs> he gave the eulogy for both my mother in uh, 2004, my sister in 2018. He prayed with me when I had, you could say, an all but tragic accident. He found out. He called me to just check on me to see how I was doing. When my son-in-law passed this past November, he called me, I called him to let him know what had happened, and he prayed with me. In closing, I just want to say I appreciate Reverend Adam for everything he's done for me and my family. I love my pastor, Lady Kim, as well as Pilgrim Rest Church. Thank you. Amen, amen. Thank you again, Sister Strong. At this time, uh, it's time for altar call. Reverend Andre Adams. Reverend Andre B. Adams. Church saying, we are glad to be here one more time. It's first Sunday of June. Amen. We thank God just for bringing us this, this month into this year of 2024. Amen. But at this time, we stand for our altar call and we want to remember the names who are on our uh, field list. We want to continue to remember Sister Yvonne Ross and Sandra Ross. Uh, the, those who are in bereavement and those who are uh, in the hospital. I don't have my list, but we know, God knows who they are. Amen. But we just want to pray for them and continue to keep them in prayer. And at this time, the evangelist, you will come and lead us in prayer.
yet to be the Vegas nor clothe us. And for that, God, we are truly grateful, oh God. Lord, as we rose on this morning and you took, you took roll call, oh God, you called out our name, oh God. And Lord, for that, we are grateful. Lord, thank you that we did not get that phone call in the middle of the night, oh God. Lord, we're grateful. We come with grateful hearts on to take high. Lord, just thanking you right now, Father God. Father God, now right now, Father God, we ask that you just remember our list. Oh God, you know who is on that list, oh God. You are on that list of bereavements, oh God. We ask that you just remember them right now. Remember them all, oh God. Those that are in waiting these last and final few hours, oh God. You know that their hearts are heavy right now, oh God. But you are the burden bearer, oh God. You are the heavy load sharer, oh God. You are the lifter right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, you promised to be with them even until the end, oh God. Even when those calls and the knocks come far few in between, God, you are still there, oh God. So that, oh God, we thank you. We bless your name today, God. Lord, we ask that you just remember Sandra Rose, Lord Jesus, and her mom right now, oh God. You know what they stand in the need of right now, God. We ask that you do it right now, oh God. As we pray for them weekly, daily, oh God. Lord, we ask that you just be with her, especially on today, God. Lord, because I know she has a heart to be here, oh God. But right now, oh God, we ask that you just cover them right now in the name of Jesus. Give them whatever they need right now, Father God. Just be with them as you promised that you would, oh God. And then, Lord, we ask that you just remember our, our youth right now, Father God. Remember remember our youth, Lord. You know what they stand in the need of. You know where they are right now. In this hour, Lord, just touch them right now. Send your angel of protection to just be with them and cover them and shield them, oh God. As I know that you will, Lord, Lord, because you did it for me, oh God. So I know that you can do it for them, oh God. Lord, thank you right now in the name of Jesus, oh God. Let them know that they're not alone right now, oh God. That they have a praying church and a praying family, oh God. We got them, Lord, as you got them, oh God. And we thank you right now, oh God. We bless your name today. We bless your name, oh God. Father God, I ask that you just touch this pastor right now. That is going to give this, this word, oh God. There's a word from heaven, oh God. Lord, let it not fall on their ear. Lord, we come hungry today, oh God. We come saying, fill our cups and let it overflow right now in the name of Jesus, oh God. Lord, Lord, let it not fall, Lord Jesus, on that deaf ear. But Lord, bring it back up to our remembrance as we need it, oh God. And as we go forth in your name, oh God, to tell of your goodness, oh God. Let us tell of your goodness and spread that word, oh God. That we thank you right now, oh God. Lord, now, I just ask that you just touch each and every individual that is here, oh God. Lord, link us like a Lincoln chain, oh God. Let one not fall without the other, oh God. And we thank you for that, oh God. And now, Lord, we thank you for, for right now for my pastor and his wife right now, Father God. As we come into the conclusion of this celebration, oh God. Blow our hands on today, God. Lord, let them feel the love on today, oh God. Lord, let them, let them feel it like never before, oh God. Lord, as they go home and reflect back on this day, oh God, let them know that it was only you, God, that brought them through it right now, oh God. I know he never thought that he would be here on today, oh God, but he's here, oh God. He's here and only because of the grace of God. And we thank you today, God. We bless your name today, oh God. We bless your name, oh God, and we had $10,000 we could not praise you enough, God. We thank you, oh God. We bless your name, oh God. For you are worthy to be praised, oh God. Lord, we thank you, oh God. We bless your name. And it is the Jesus, oh precious and humble name we pray. Amen.
Finally, we'll have the introduction of our preacher for today, and that will be by Reverend Andre Bernard Adams. Amen. 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 Church, amen. amen. We are glad to have our preacher for this morning. He is a brother beloved, someone I always uh, talk to and joke with on uh, Instagram. He is uh, our first, second vice moderator for our uh, Indiana Brothers Initiative Baptist District Association. And, but his important and most important job is being a pastor of the New Bethel Missionary Baptist Church. Amen. So as Tilman West Choir comes down, we ask the New Bethel Choir take this uh, choir stand. Amen. Okay, well, Tilman West will give us another selection. And the next speaking portion will he'll be a uh, Reverend O.B. Eli. Amen. <laughs>
Michael Kaplan, Prince of Peace, Mighty God. What an awesome God we serve. I wish I had some help in here today. How many know God is good all the time? Somebody shout out. Choir, amen. amen. I have a chance to hear my good friend, baby boy, sing his song today. Amen. amen. But I'm grateful because I didn't come by myself. But all right, all right. You got to raise your hand. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 So grateful and honored to be a part of such a loving church. Amen. Then I bought my good thing with me. Amen. Amen. I bought my baby, my boo, my wife, my girlfriend, my confidant. Amen. The one that I do the pillow talk with. Amen. Raise your hand, baby. Amen. Thank God for her. Amen. Look here, that's why I got to get a little work tomorrow because of your friend. <laughs> hey, man. Look, I'm not going to be long time. We've already uh, been in service all day, it seems like. And I got one scripture I want to read, if you don't mind. Hey, Amen. And it's coming from 2 Corinthians chapter number 4, verse number 7. Hey, Amen. And I'm reading from the New English translation. And it says, but we have this treasure in clay jars so that the extraordinary power belongs to God and does not come from us. If you don't mind, for a moment this morning, I just want to talk to you from this topic, 
this is the Lord's doing. Amen. Amen. This is the Lord's doing. Father, we thank you, we bless you, and we give you honor and glory, O oh God. We thank you for your kindness and your mercy. And God, I stand before you once again asking you, O oh God, for a fresh oil in this place. Fresh anointing, O oh God. Speak, O oh God. That your people may hear your voice and feel your presence, God, because where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Allow us to leave this place better than how we came. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 We have preachers out, and Pastor Adams asked me to invite you up. Uh, so uh, if you would like, you definitely can make your way this way. If not, you're okay where you are. Amen. Just know that you have been invited. Amen. This is the Lord's doing. I have discovered, Lady Kim, that God has a very unique way of using our trials and tribulations as tools to draw us out, to draw out of us the very thing that he's placed in us. Because the more pressure that is on you produces the thing that God has placed in you. So in other words, the more you go through, uh, the more God draws uh, what he's placed in you out of you. Yeah. I know I'm not the only one that when you came out of your storm, when you came out of your sickness, when you came out of your heartache, you were better. And when you look back over your life, uh, you understood that the power that was working in me, uh, even though I did not know it at the time, uh, I realized once God brought me out, uh, the Bible said, in everything to give thanks for this is the will of God uh, concerning you through Christ Jesus. Uh, notice it doesn't say give thanks for it, but it says while you're in it, you ought to be a prayer to praise God. And once you come out, you ought to be able to look back and thank God for it because I'm better since I came out than what I ever will while I was in it. Anybody in the house can holler back at me and say I can give God glory because I've got the victory. Sometimes, sometimes a breakthrough comes after uh, a breakdown. Come here, David. David had sinned with Bathsheba, and, and the child had got sick, and, and he had been praying and, and fasting. And once he got the news that the child had died, he went to the sanctuary. He showed up at Pilgrim Rest and began to give God praise. Sometimes, once you have been broken down, uh, that's when your breakthrough, after your breakthrough comes, uh, that's when you learn how to give God praise. Oh, come here, David. He's in zigzag. Oh, all the children, all the wives have been taken captive. Oh, he began to, the men wanted to kill him. And yet he, he stows away by himself. Gets the ephod and puts it on. And began to give God some praise. And seek the face of God. When you're going through your storm, you ought to get down on your knees. And seek God. And I just came to let you know, every once in a while, when you're going through and the rain, you have to keep yourself happy. Anybody in this place, have you ever talked to yourself and told yourself, I'm more than a conqueror? as an apostle of Jesus Christ. I know folk have questioned you. Uh, you can't tell me. Folk won't look at you and judge you, but you can't judge a book by its cup. Y'all don't talk to me. You need to learn how to read the chapters in between. And I just got news for somebody. It ain't in my notes, but no matter what chapter you come in my story on, baby, the next chapter is better than this because the songwriter said He's turning the pages of my story, and the best of my story has never been, been told. Paul and his co-workers 
suffering for the sake of the gospel yeah. of Christ. Yes, Lord. In fact, he says in verse 1, therefore, since we have this ministry, just as God has shown us mercy, uh, we do not become discouraged. Uh, when you have ministry, uh, sometimes you go through uh, more than other people, uh, but you don't lose heart uh, because you realize greater is he that's in me uh, than he that's in the world. Uh, you got to say, like Paul, I can do all things uh, through Christ which strengthens me. Uh, is there anybody in the church today uh, understand that what's in you uh, sometimes help keep you ground? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I remember growing up, my cousin had this clown uh, that we used to punch. Whenever you punch it, it would just fall back uh, and come right back up. Y'all gonna help you preach today. Uh, well, no matter how hard you hit it, uh, it would fall back uh, and come back up. Uh, and I just began to wonder, oh, why can this thing, uh, every time I hit it, uh, it still comes back up. Uh, but there's something that was down in the bottom of it uh, that kept it keeping rooted uh, and grounded. It's because of what's in you uh, that every time uh, that you get knocked around, uh, every time your life gets shook upside down, uh, every time uh, there's something in you uh, that arrives. Yeah. 
in this clay jar that the extraordinary power belongs to God and not does not come from us. Yes, sir. Paul calls it a treasure. Yes, Lord. The treasure is the greatness of the gospel of Jesus Christ and the glory of God made, made evidence through the gospel. Ah, I'm so glad that Paul lets us know that the treasure is not about us. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. I know we quote the scripture and we say, uh, let your light so shine and men may see your good works and glory. Can, can I just tell you something? The light don't belong to you. Yes, sir. We're simply lampshades. The light belongs to God. It is the spirit of God that shines through us. I wish I had some help in this house today. So, the cost of this power that belongs to God, it's not about us. Watch this, Ephesians 3 and 20, to Amplified. Somebody gonna shout at me. Yeah. Yeah. Now to him who was able to carry out yeah. his purpose uh -huh. and do super abundantly yeah. more than all that we ask yeah. or think. Yeah. Infinitely beyond our greatest prayer, yeah. hopes, yeah. or dreams yeah. according to yeah. the power yeah. That is at work in us. So God can do that much more through us. I wish I had some help in here. You don't even understand the power that you possess. Yes, sir. Let me move. 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 Yes, Lord. I don't know who I'm talking to, but this well, sermon. Well. But the sermon you give with your life is more important than the word that you say from this pulpit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, Lord. God bless you, love. Let me go. That's why the Bible said, Philippians 1, 27, the eighth part, in the Holy Christian Standard Bible, it said just one thing. Live your life in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ. Pastor Adam, I believe that this, this text uh, is a picture of you. I, I remember, y'all, that uh, I'm a young preacher. Pastor Adam got the call that uh, I was going to be the substitute. <laughs> Somebody was gonna send me over here. <laughs> Pastor Adam, I'm gonna tell you about your pastor. <laughs> <laughs> Not in a bad way. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, <Jesus. laughs> he didn't know me. Based on he didn't know me. Come on down. And so since he didn't know me, well, he said, no, I'm gonna go a different direction. Well, now, I was a little hurt then. Even though I didn't know him. Yeah, right. But I understand yeah. today. Yeah. Well. Because he has to give an account. Amen. I wish I had some right. help. Yeah. Over the souls that he pastored. Yeah. And if he don't know yeah. nothing about me, then how can he let me to come and speak over people and tear out what he's been building? I just came to let you know I'm grateful today for the no.
comforted because uh, your promises gave me life. Uh, every time you go through something, uh, you ought to look in the word of God uh, because God's word will give you the comfort that you need. Uh, what my readers at today, uh, what the ones that they know uh, that no weapon form against me uh, shall be able to prosper. What am I here? What my readers at today? Uh, of this present time is not worthy to be oh God I wish I had some help in here there's something God is doing that's going to come out better than how I went in God is not trying to make you bitter God is trying to make you better we would prefer to see God in our success but often God is revealed in our struggle. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Look for God in the destination, but often he's found in the detour. Right. There's some aspects of God's greatness, of uh, God's great work in our life that only happen through trials and suffering. Some writers say, sometimes discouraged. But not defeated. Cast down, but not destroyed. There are times I don't understand, but I believe it's turning around for me. Is there anybody in the house today? Can you say, I don't care what I'm going through? 34 years is turning around. For me, anybody in this place, can you shout, shout yeah, shout yeah, I know it has to work out for my good, is there anybody in this place, I know that the God that I serve, he's Oh, 
chapter 23rd verse <laughs> for I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you that the Lord Jesus the same night in which he was betrayed took bread and when he had given thanks he broke it and said take eat this is my body which is broken for you this do in remembrance of me after the same manner also he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye, be, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Amen. Amen.
at this time, when I take the bread which represents his body, and the, his, the, the uh, wine which represents his, uh, his blood. Amen. At this time, the brethren will come around. If you can pass it to the, to the end, to the center, they will uh, come and pick them up. Blessings of the Lord be upon you is our prayer. Amen. Amen. 